Good morning, good morning to you all. It's me, Patricia. I would love to talk about Africa and the leaders of Africa, the leadership in Africa, and the other countries that are filled with African people, like, for example, Haiti, uh, and the leadership and everything that goes on in those countries, and why my heart breaks for Africa and the African people, okay? So my history, of course, I'm African descendant. Uh, I was born in Angola. You know, I was born in Angola. I lived in Angola for almost 12 years. I was in, in a war. I saw a war in Angola in 1992. Even though we lived in a city, I saw things that I should not have seen it. I left Angola in 95, 96. And my family is also Portuguese. You know, my, my mom's father, he was half Angolan, half Portuguese, and my father's side is Angolan background and Brazilian background from from Bahia. So I have a very connection to Africa, as you can see, and all that, you know. So I'm very sad with all that happens in Africa and African uh, descendant countries. And the reason why is because, like, you know, for so many years, uh, Af many African countries have been colonized by other nations, right? Uh, it's like they were living there and somebody from a different culture, like Portugal colonized Angola, and we have the British and the French and all those people, they went and everybody took a part of Africa and they decided they wanted to colonize them and to, to make them be like them, right? And to take it those countries and make their own so sometimes I wonder like even though there's people that say Africa is being cursed you know I believe that God created Africa like every other continent and Africa is a very very rich continent that's why it's very sad and very confusing to see what happens in Africa like uh, today you know Nigeria has a new president during the presidency and uh, all the events that lead to the new president, as you know, the vote and everything, a lot of sad things, events happen in Nigeria. And this is all we see all around. That happens in Angola, that happens in Congo, that, that happens all over Africa, right? When it's time for people to vote for new presidency and new, go you know, the government changes, there's always blood that gets shed. Like I saw a video of this guy in Niger that they burned him alive. You know, I only see the ashes. I cannot watch things like that really get to me. But, but he just said that, you know, um, Africa is being such a rich continent, you know, having so many uh, countries in this world and continents that feed from Africa and are very wealthy and developed this day today because of the riches they got from Africa. It's, to, it's so sad to see that Africa feels like it's always behind every other country, every other continent. All those African countries always travel. And I'm like, you know, uh, there was a time I was kind of embarrassed to say, you know, I'm African too because just the behaviors of African people the behaviors of African leaders, you know, it is it really, I'm so disgusted by um, the behavior of our people when it comes to rights, when it comes to doing things the right way. I don't understand why when there's some kind of situation that people are not getting along because of political views and things, they always have to kill each other the way that they do. You know, we see in Sudan, we seen in Congo, we seen in Angola, we, and we can name it every country in Africa, right? They always have to kill this to themselves. And also, you know, African people, we are like the crabs, you know, in a bucket. Like, we always are unhappy when we see somebody else making, right? So, I don't understand why every time when something happens in Africa, we have to destroy our own continent. Like, we are trying to, we are fighting to be free and recognize worldwide.
because we know that the black people all over the world we get mistreated in every continent we go so they already came to our continents and they take it continue to take with the help of our leaders with the help of our people and now we go to their countries and continents and nothing changes like we live in their continents now you know uh, we see on the on the TV on the internet and stuff how other people live why are we still destroying Africa like I don't understand why when there is something in Africa that people don't agree with when there's a disagreement because of whatever reason skin color race tribes whatever why people have to burn their own countries they have to burn the stores they have to destroy things like you are destroying the things that you need how can we develop how can we move forward if we are this if we are the, the people that destroy our own place of living how can we get the respect of other nations how can we earn the respect of other nations so that they will stop seeing us just as salvages as this and that you know african people are brilliant amazing people welcoming loving and stuff what really gets to me is our mentality like instead of helping each other moving forward we just put each other down we break each other's down and like you look at congo and i'm not just talking about africa i like if even even countries in the world where is it has a lot of african descendants right um like for example what is happening in haiti it is so heartbreaking because it's like man we suffer so much because of slavery like look at south africa and other countries in africa where the the own their own the own people of africa could not be and cannot be in certain areas and i treated like slaves and mistreated in their own countries in their own home it's like there's no home for african people not even africa but africa is so rich like why don't we develop like why don't we learn with time how much more do we need to suffer in order to change our mindset sets and become the people that we were in we were created to be right because all oh, africa is cursed africa is this so if africa is cursed what are we doing to undo that curse do you understand like we cannot continue just to live a life oh africa africa people africa is just a cursed continent if it is true if africa is supposedly is a cursed continent what are we doing as Africans, as Blacks, as African descendants, in order to change that? You know, why are we not applying the new laws, the new views, the new ways in our own countries, right? Because it's like, man, look, look at Nigeria. Everybody's knowing Nigeria. Nigeria is developing because of the music, because of the clothing, because of so many things, you know, and I'm very proud of Nigerians because I see a lot of times I see Nigerians really go and that they really do good in school. But what are we doing that we continue to act so crazy towards our own things, our own people? We are continue to destroy our own continent, our own countries. When we have children and grandchildren and grandchildren that we want to... And in Africa, there's no freedom. It's freedom, right? People do voting and do all those things, but the leaders are always stay, always, always, stay, always stay in power for years and years and years. Even those leaders, they don't do nothing. They always stay in power. People help each other. It's their friends and their friends that are in control, and they always stay in, the, in power even though they don't do nothing for those countries. Look at Angola, how long Jose Duardo was in power for. Look in those countries. Why is not like other countries? You stay four years or eight years and then you're out. Why do you always have to fight to stay in power? And people don't understand. The reason why they do that and they become dictators is like 
you have to do as I say or else you get killed right looking at like for example we have people that always have to run away as refugees from Angola and in other countries because like they spoke against the government the government they spoke against the president they don't agree with the way things are done and because of that they get prosecuted they get killed they get poisoned right so there's there's no freedom for the African people for the black people and it's like it's so sad because there's so much division there's so much jealousy and we don't understand we don't have a home anywhere right it don't matter where we go they also treat us the same so we need to make Africa uh, our safe place safe heavens we need to build Africa in a, in a, with a mindset that this is our home before we bring peace and health and love and respect and honor to other people's homes it has to start within our homes why it doesn't happen to Africa we need new leaders. We need leaders that are okay to receive criticism. We need new leaders that are okay to say, you know what? I am not capable of doing, of giving people what they need, of doing the things that I need to do. I'm gonna move out of the or out of the way so somebody else can come and do better. But you know why it doesn't happen? Because everything means money. Everything means power. People just want a position for money, for power, for them, for their families. And this is the African mentality that is really sad. Oh, as long as my family and my friends are good and they have all their needs met, we don't care about anything else. You know, there's p p p homes in Africa, in Angola, in other countries that, yeah, there are ho there's homes of people because they are celebrities or politicians or what wealthy if you walk in front of their door you get killed like and here we go to Hollywood I used to live in Hollywood I met so many celebrities you know the kind of work I do I meet people all the time celebrities all the time and they are so cool right so why can't we not adopt that kind of mentality like hey this is our country right this is our continent and especially because nowhere else we get any love of respect let's build our continent let's put our strength together our voices together our power together to make our continent comfortable for us to make our continent our continent safe for our children their children their children why can't we not do that it's like i woke up this morning and i told my husband just hug me and I didn't even understand why. I was like, I don't something. I just don't feel right. And then I I, 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 I go and I turn on my phone and I see all those news. I'm like, why everywhere the majority of people are black? There's so much of suffering, so much of hate, so many attacks on each other. Like we need to understand we are all that we have. We need to stop making everyone else healthy and wealthy and happy and up here while we keep on ourselves and our own people down. We need to stop being that crap in the bucket. Oh, you know, who told you that because it's election days you don't go to work? We need to continue to work even when we're tired. But we need to do the right thing. Those leaders in Africa, you guys really got to change the way that you think, the way that you view your own people. We need to really use the power that you have, the platform that you have to make Africa better, to work with other African leaders and to see where those holes are in Africa so that you can strengthen and cover them. Because we need to rebuild the mindset of the African nation, the African people. If it is true and Africa is cursed, we need to find out how do we undo that? How do we undo the curse? What are we doing wrong? What are the practices that is being practiced in Africa that we know God is not blessing? 
right? Because a lot of things has to do with that. Why is God allowing and continues to allow so much bad things to happen in our continent? Yeah, so my video is not an attack on African people, on African leader, on African or black continental black people. I'm just here to say, hey, we gotta do better. We cannot always be the joke of every continent and all people in this world. People look at us and say, look at those people. They don't go nowhere. They're just monkeys. They're just this, they're just that. We are so much more than that. We gotta do better.